Hey, Stephen Key here. Thanks for watching. Today I'm going to talk about do you really need to have a patent on your idea or invention today? And I'm going to say, you know, it all depends on who you ask. If you ask a patent attorney, of course they're going to say, yes, you, you need a patent on that because that's their business. And uh, they think you need a patent on everything you have. In fact, it, it doesn't matter to them if it's your product idea is marketable or not. Um, and that's really not their job anyway. That's your job to determine if it's marketable or not. But if you're watching Shark Tank on Friday night or watching all those reruns, of course you're going to hear the sharks ask, do you have any intellectual property? That you must have intellectual property. Uh, and they're going to say yes as well. And if you ask your friends, I'm sure they've heard a couple stories or they watched a couple movies and they're going to tell you absolutely yes, you have to patent that great idea that you have. And I'm here to tell you, I don't think you do today um, for most products. For, for most of the products that are consumer based products that I see, and I see a lot of product ideas and we have lots of students at EventRight. We have students in over 60 different countries and we see a li signed licensing deal every single week. There's no patent and there never will be. And so people ask me, how's that? That's, that's impossible. Um, what are you licensing? And, and why wouldn't a company just steal your idea? I hear that from everybody. And I'm here to tell you that um, the lifespan on most products is basically three or four years, if you're lucky. And because, that it's, because it's so difficult to protect any idea anymore, because of the internet, because of the, the laws, the patent laws that have been changed, and because you can work around an idea fairly easy, and who wants to go to court? In fact, because of the new, new patent laws, you, you might not ev ever even get in court. So why even bother, right? I mean, the, but this is what's happening. Companies do need ideas. The, the smart companies, the companies that have embraced open innovation, need ideas from you to stay competitive. It's as simple as that. And they're willing to pay you a royalty for it. That's why they, they're not out there like stealing your ideas because once they do that, the doors close. And because of social media today, stealing ideas, it's just not very, it's not a smart thing to do. So companies need ideas. Now, that being said, um, what do you need to license an idea? You need perceived ownership. That's what you need. And that can come in a few different forms. And so I'm here to tell you, you need to really understand this. And I wrote a book on this topic of perceived ownership because this is what I've been seeing for years and years and years is that you don't need to own anything, but you need to have perceived ownership. And that usually allows a company uh, to feel warm and fuzzy. So I wrote this book. It's called, here it is. James is going to put it up on the screen. Sell your ideas with or without a patent. And what's really amazing about this book um, I, I get invited to speak at the USPTO, that's, that's the United States Patent and Trademark Office, quite a bit. And they always ask me to bring books. And one of the books I always bring is this book. Now, that's pretty ironic that they would allow me to talk about um, that you don't need a patent uh, in most situations, but they do. And they understand that I'm probably right. And 97% of all patents never recoup the money it costs to file them. That's right, 97%. So what is going on out there? Well, people are filing, filing worthless patents. So it all comes back to perceived ownership. And that's why I wrote this book, because I want to give you the most current information and give you that advice that, that you can take and go forward. So I'm telling you, if you really want to get in this game, and if you really don't want to spend a lot of money, and you, you want to license your ideas, you have to get this book. It's, it's not that expensive. And trust me, no one ever makes money selling books, but you have to have this book because this book is going to do a couple things. The first thing it's going to teach you is about perceived ownership. And it's going to show you how you do not need a patent to license an idea. Like I said, most of our students, 99% of all the students that we see get licensing agreements on InventRight, there's no patent. 
It's also going to teach you how to write a provisional patent application, which you can write yourself and you can do a fantastic job and it's going to have value and it's going to have everything you need to get a licensing deal, right? Because I'm going to show you how to add workaround language and what to do to, to get companies to say yes, that they'll license the, um, this idea from you. Also, I'm going to talk about a win-win licensing agreement strategy. Those licensing agreements, when they come on over, they're, they're fantastic, but there's so many twists and turns. You, if, if you want to get involved and if you get that licensing agreement, you're going to need to have this book. Um, also, let's see, I've got some notes there. Also, it's going to show you how to avoid um, when a license, what to do when a licensing goes bad, how to avoid that, because that does happen at times. And also in this book, I have included, what happens if you have a big idea? How do you protect the big ideas? Because some of us have big ideas that are going to last for a while. And I explained the strategy because I've had a big idea. Um, I have 20 patents on one idea and it's made a lot of money for 20 years for me. So I understand that. Um, how to navigate those waters with those really big companies. And I write about it in here. And also, when you decide that you do want to work with a patent attorney, how can you work with a patent attorney so you truly get the value from your patent attorney? Um, from, the, from billing to make sure they're doing the work that's correct and making sure they're doing everything you need to get that patent issued and not just uh, pay their bills. So anyway, Stephen Key here. I just want to go over a couple things. You need to get the book. Um, hopefully you've read one simple idea. It's up here on the shelf. But if you really want to do a deeper dive, get the book. You'll absolutely love it. Stephen Key here. Educate yourself. Thanks. Hi, this is Stephen Key. And I just want to thank you for watching InventRight TV. We're here to save you time, save you money, and show you how you can bring your products to market through licensing. So please subscribe down below, click on the button, and tell your friends. Thank you.